Okay, peace. I'm back home. I just wanted to go over the experience and then I'll come back later and answer some of the crew's questions. First, I want to thank everybody who watched and showed love. Um, it means a lot to me, like more than I can express. You took time out of your day to be there um, at a very vulnerable moment for me. And my heart is grateful. So the first thing is that they wanted to see if I'd even fit in the machine. Um, it was like, a, I don't know what his title is. I guess radiologist he was foreign so he said it kind of matter of factly um I wasn't really offended because I know like other countries some things are just said real like currently <laughs> um it wasn't like you know with disgust or disdain or anything like that um so I did fit and I want to tell you if you could fit into like a like a waiting room chair even if like it squeezes a little on the hips you'll be fine um, if you happen to be a big chick um, as far as sensations that's like a individual thing for me um, I felt like a warm radiation, like here, like in the pelvic area, like if you put like, you ever had one of those warming blanket that sort of vibrates? That's what it feels like in the <laughs> genital region. Like I read somewhere, like, you'll feel like you need to pee, but that's not what it felt like to be. It was like warm and tingly in a weird way. I don't know. Um, so it was like an abdomen CT scan with or without contrast. It does pinch a little, but I guess he eventually did find a vein so you can't really see it sometimes some texts um are a little rough so it'll be like a harsh thing but it's just a little red dot um he had like three tight ass tourniquets to find a vein um but yeah he ended up putting it on the hand and you do feel the contrast um it doesn't burn or anything you just feel like a liquid going through a vein like you actually feel it moving or at least i do um as far as the actual process there's a like an automated thing that tells you when to breathe and hold your breath so you just really listen to that um the staff was cool and making sure um i was okay as far as the actual machine i just kept my eyes closed and um just so i don't freak out i kind of imagined all the good things i would like in my life um and thinking about certain things and what if they turned out well i can't really recall how long it took um it wasn't forever <laughs> uh but it was smooth i guess of course it's going to depend on the hospital you go to and the technicians and doctors and things like that um but i would say about 30 minutes 30 40 minutes at most yeah um what 
results and everything probably won't be till next week. There's going to be another type of health consult next week as well with a new doctor. Um, I don't know if you recalled on my last health update, which I'll try to link it below. Um, is it the whole of October or the whole of November? There was one month where I was completely shit out of luck. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be eating this. You can't eat. Um, you can't eat or drink. I read four hours, uh, something say two hours, so I just didn't eat at all to be safe. The only thing I drank was um, a little bit of electrolyte drink, uh, just enough to take my medicine in the morning. I got one of those little croissant things, I'll order actual food later. I just wanted to buy this something and I couldn't get anything to get. I really went to Duncan to get my green tea. What was I saying? Oh, one second. Okay, I paused it because I wasn't sure since I have headphones and how loud my chewing is. Anyway, um, there was one of those months where y'all know I have chronic back pain in general, but this particular thing like shot straight up the, the right side of my back and like wrapped around like the core center of my back and getting up was a bitch, uh, sitting up hurt. Um, I couldn't even stand up straight. I really had no choice but to lay the hell down. And the problem with that is like, for me, except in some brief moments I share with you all, I'm not someone where you can tell I'm in pain. I think I told y'all that before where like, facilities and things um kind of have a habit of not taking me all that seriously or they can't really gauge from looking at me like the severity of anything because i don't know like it takes a lot of things building up for me to like be expressive in that way but yeah, and aside from that debilitating pain, which came out of freaking nowhere, it's like I am always bloated. And I ain't talking about no little bloat, or I ain't even talking about like PMS bloat. I'm talking about like PMS bloat plus if you had way too much food for Thanksgiving. If you put those together, just looking like a round ball for no reason. And then like for a good couple of weeks, along with that bloat, it would just feel, I don't even know how to describe it, like, a weird discomfort type feeling, like, I don't know. almost kind of like cramps except it wasn't time of the month or pms period time like it wasn't either one of those actual cycle or before the cycle situations was like it, it had no rhyme or reason and yeah anyway um after my appointment 
I didn't feel too bad, so I stopped by CVS. Did I mention this is just green tea? Also, they recommend if you do get the C2 scan with contrast to have a lot of liquids afterwards. Um, clear liquids, of course. So, tea, water kind of thing to flush it out your system. I drink a lot of water anyway, but I was really craving some green tea. Oops, I just tore my receipt. I don't know because we have two different numbers on this thing. Hold on, I need to write down which one this is so that I can remember. One of the phone numbers we have had a 40% off coupon, so I use that for one of my um supplements because chit chat. These health supplements. <laughs> Why the hell do they cost so much? <laughs> Let me see where is it? I got so caught up in two dollars. I forgot. Um, I bought one of the Azo supplements. It was originally thirty six forty nine, and then I had the forty percent coupon and some extra bucks so it came up to 2076 no if I can find it because I bought a whole bunch of shit for the house this okay there we go so this is Azo D Manos and they had the gummies as well but I don't know I'll try the regular capsules. I try not to have too many gummies because I also still eat sweets, so <laughs> it's kind of like, what are you doing? Um, but the gummies usually are easier since I have all the bad medication I gotta take. Um, the D mannose is one of the ingredients that's in the supplement i really like um i'm gonna try to find it and edit this video and like put it over here so since that hasn't come back in stock i said let me get this in the meantime and i'm still having feminine health issues Oh, another thing I bought, I want to finish up the ones I have first, but this is one of those electrolyte mixes in peach mango. This one is BioSteel. I don't think I've tried this company to my recollection. Why are you not focusing? There you go. And in case y'all need to see that. I got the Vitafusion multi gummies. I still have a other gummies I need to. I got this one because there's a coupon out for this. And uh, I'm going to need another multivitamin eventually. I need to get in the habit of actually taking them. <laughs> but this is the Vitafusion women's multi. This was on sale. Anyway, here's the other um, supplement. Where's, oh, I got the phone on the bag. Hold on. I got y'all leaned up against my shoulder bag. So this is the Amberine Perimenopause Relief. And I have a lot of perimenopause symptoms. Um... I don't care what the whole lab tests say. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. A lot of these symptoms, you see them? Hold on. Yep, I have a lot of those. 
Also, PMDD came out of nowhere. But anyway, um, since this one's particularly said perimenopause, I figure I'd go ahead and get it. So this is the Bamberin. And, um, okay, if you want to see it. Okay. This one, on the actual account I use regularly, I had a 25% off. Did it take it off of this one? I think it did. Anyway, it was originally $36.49. Um, I had a lot of coupons, so I don't know what it took it off of. But um, I paid twenty five eighty six for this. Anyway, like I said, I bought a whole bunch of shit. Um, I saved thirty percent though, so that's good. I'll show y'all all the coupons I used. <laughs> Coupon, please. At this stage, like, coupons are necessary even to get close to what things should cost. I'm going to tell you now, even if I'm rolling in dough, I'm going to have to use a coupon. <laughs> because, like, the price of shit is ridiculous. Okay, so it's the next day. I think afternoon or something. I don't know. Um, I've tried... Or attempted a lot of enjoyable activities but they don't feel like anything so I'm sort of just in a state of nothingness and I'm not really good with laying on my back too long so I'm feeling the effects of that today so there is some lower body pain. Even when I used to work out <clears throat> in the private studios, I tried to like alternate between light floor work and, you know, modify certain moves so I'm not like on my back too long. Even if I do ab work, I try to do standing ab moves. It just is something with my like spine and the way the curve on my butt is shaped it's just uncomfortable um, some type of results came in late last night but I don't um, I don't completely know if I'm reading it right so I'm waiting for my primary physician to get them and then I guess she'll notate it but from what I'm reading is uterine fibroids and um, said something about a distended stomach and possible hernia that's if I'm reading it right. Um, what to do about all those? I don't know. <laughs> when I figure when I figure out what's going on, I'll let you know. But that's my understanding from what I read. Um, I'll let y'all know. I guess next week or whenever I'm able to. Um, how that's like, I can't even think properly. <laughs> when it's confirmed, I'll be like, oh guys, yeah, I was right. Or what I thought was this is actually this, whatever the case is. But from what I've looked at, 
and what I've then researched and what is in actual plain English. That is what I've seen. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really feel anything about anything right now. But I did want to close out the video. And um, hopefully this weekend I'll work on some more content of things that I was supposed to show you all or upload as usual as I told you all I'd be doing um, yesterday which is kind of like I don't know it was it was a lot And no, the nerves have not left my body. So I think I'm just like emotionally shutting down, I guess. I don't know. So I have no idea what I'm doing this weekend. I would like to see some greenery, but we're also in the dead of winter, so... Maybe I'll buy myself some flowers or something. That sounds like a good idea. Anyway, chat to y'all later.